Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining our virtual panel. My name is Chelsea Sheehan. I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Sarah Lawrence. Today, we actually have some of our senior interviewers helping answer any questions that you have about the interviewing process, not only at Sarah Lawrence College, but in, at a selective institution in general. So uh, we really appreciate all the questions that you've been sending in via email, as well as our Twitter feed. You can still post questions on our Twitter using the, our Twitter handle, SLC Admit, using the hashtag SLC Interview. So now for our first question, um, Natasha, if you want to start off by answering this, what's an interview like at Sarah Lawrence and what really makes a student stand out and allows you to remember them and make it an impactful in interview? So, so the Sarah Lawrence, Sarah Lawrence is really interesting interest because it's really a really a between two changes. So it's a senior in college at Sarah Lawrence and there's a senior in high school. So it's really a great way for a prospective student to be able to sit down and really have a conversation with someone who's, you know, really working at Sarah Lawrence, is studying at Sarah Lawrence, is interacting with other Sarah Lawrence students. So you really get a sense of what being here on campus and what studying here is like. Um, and so I think that is pretty unique to our school and this system in general. Um, and I was someone who was an interviewer and also did an interview while I was at Sarah Lawrence or when I was looking at Sarah Lawrence. So uh, um, it definitely was a great, a great experience. Great. Thank you so much. So during the next uh, couple minutes, we're going to try and answer as many questions as we can. Um, the next question, maybe Pauline, if you want to answer this, just talk about some of the do's and don'ts about interviewing at Sarah Lawrence. I think, the, I think the one that I can think of is mainly just to be really excited and passionate about what you're talking about because like I, all of the people that like really come to mind for me is people that I've really enjoyed interviewing and people that like have really stuck with me after they left were people who were just excited about learning and passionate about what they were doing. And so like that I think is the biggest do and I guess it's converse then don't not be passionate. <laughs> I think that's like really the, the major one. Great, thank you so much. So as, as I said, we have a whole bunch of questions coming in. So as our prospective students, post any questions that you have on Twitter. Um, the next question is a student wants to know, is the interviews, is it only one-on-one -on -one or can you do a group interview? Okay, well interviews are only one-on-one. -on -one. It is between the senior interviewer, us, and then you as a senior. So. <laughs> Great, we love the short and sweet answers. <laughs> um, the next question from a student from California, she doesn't know if she'll be able to make it to campus. Is there any other way to do an interview besides interviewing here on Sarah Lawrence's campus? Yes, so in terms of interviewing, we have a couple of options for students who can't physically make it to campus. So you can sign up directly on our website for um, a Skype interview, and that again is with a current Sarah Lawrence senior. Um, so you're still able to talk with a Sarah Lawrence student and be able to get the same experience, but don't have to travel across the country to do it. Um, you can also meet with any of our fabulous alumni um, who are located in your area, and you can do that as well, or you can sit down with an admissions counselor. So um, there are a couple of options for you, but all of that information is directly on our website. Thank you very much. Um, the next question that we have is, Someone's guidance counselor told them, you know, don't bring up any flaws or anything negative in their life. Is it okay to bring up maybe some struggles that I've had in, you know, during my life or in high school during the interview process? I definitely think it's okay to bring up flaws or um, issues or whatever it is that you've had, but just to highlight it in a way that shows that you've improved, you've recognized what you did wrong if it was something that you did, and just to show how things have changed for the better. I think if you show it in that light, rather than just in the light of putting yourself down or putting the situation down, it definitely shows um, the best side of you. Great. Thank you, Bronte. Um, this is probably one of the most popular questions that came in through Sarah Lawrence, both our email and our Twitter feed, is what should an interviewee wear? Uh, what is the attire like? <laughs> I think it really kind of depends on what makes you feel comfortable. You know, the, we're not looking for anything in particular, just of course like look presentable, but um, you know, we're not looking for you to be like 
dressed in a big suit or anything. We just, you know, we want to come talk to you. <laughs> so, exactly. Great, thank you. Um, the next question, I don't know if maybe each one of you want to answer it, but do you guys ask the same questions to every interviewee, or do you have a favorite question that you ask and, you know, throughout the interview process? Yes. So my favorite question um, is about conference work. So if you, as a student, could create any conference project, what would you do, why would you do it, and how would you go about doing your research? Um, and I always say that it kind of can exist in a vacuum, you know. So if the sky's the, sky's the limit with this question. Um, I just want to be able to see what your thought process is and, like, what your passions and your interests are when it comes to doing a research project. Yeah, same with me. Um, I also always ask the same questions, and that is actually my favorite question. And I also frame it um, in the sense of saying, if you had unlimited money, if you had all of the people to back you up, you have the manpower, whatever it is, we just want your idea. And you can either teach that class, or you can um, sit in on that class, because sometimes you have a course you really want, but you don't want to teach it. You want to sit in and learn. So um, that's really how I frame it. But yeah, the make your own course um, here is my favorite. Yeah, that's one that I like to use as well. I like that's always my favorite because people come up with really cool ones where they're mm -hmm. just like, I want to incorporate like psychology and history and educational theory and make it a whole big class about like women's studies, and you're just like, awesome, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's one that I really like answering. And then as for like whether you ask the same questions every time, I think there are like certain key points that I'm trying to hit. So I'm going to always ask you, of course why you're looking at Sarah Lawrence because that's kind of an obvious one. You know, we just want to be sure that, like, you're looking at us for good reasons and um, that you're genuinely interested in the school. And then there are some things where, you know, I'm going to, like, kind of check in on, like, some of the projects that you've been doing just to kind of see what you've been up to in high school. Um, but then there are also going to be a lot of variable ones because, you know, if you tell me that you're interested in film, I'm going to ask you about, like, you know, what specifically you're interested in, like, if this is more like screenwriting or if it's like a film viewing kind of thing. So, like, there are key points that we're hitting, but I think that, like, of course we're, like, tailoring this interview to you as yeah. well because, again, this is supposed to be a conversation, and so we're trying to make it like a conversation. Definitely a good point. Great. Thank you, ladies. If you're just joining us, I just want to welcome you to our virtual panel. Today's panel will be talking about just the interviewing process, not only at Sarah Lawrence, but at a selective institutions in general. So you can post any questions that you may have using our um, Twitter handle, at SLC Admit, using the hashtag SLC Interview, or you can also post your questions on the YouTube page below. Uh, the next question that we have that came in is, are the interviewees allowed to ask questions to the interviewer? And if so, what type of questions are being asked? Um, you can definitely ask questions. Sometimes I get questions just about the conferences. Um, what are conferences? What kind of conference projects have you worked on? Sometimes I get questions about um, just their application process. Because sometimes you're worried about it and it's OK to be worried about your application process. Um, I've had some um, transfer students who are worried about how things will transfer. And if I can't personally answer the question, I can definitely find the person who can. But feel free to ask. I've had questions about study abroad, um, about internships is a really big thing, about getting involved um, in student clubs and organizations, um, all of which I've done. So uh, it's definitely a, those are great questions to ask. Um, and then hopefully to be able to get an answer from someone who has done it. So that's. Yeah, I get a lot of questions about, like, you know, if the students are interested, like,